See how long I can go without laughing like a little schoolgirl. Think I can do it? <laughs> I held it. You know the rules. Dude, you look different today. Really? Yeah. I haven't changed anything. <laughs> we, we talked about the scarves last week. What do you mean? You know, like how men start hiding behind scarves. Oh, I didn't even notice this. <laughs> it's nice. Is that Urban Outfitters? It's just an extension of my personality. Oh. And I got this new tattoo sleeve. Oh, who's that? Is that Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> It's Buddha, dude. Oh, Buddha. <laughs> That's what I meant. And I got a aloha on my butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, without the O. What do you mean? I got a aloha without the O. So it's a a a aloha? Aloha? Well, when I bend over. Oh, I get it. The brown <laughs> circle. This was the hardest of them all. Oh, the nose ring? Whoa, it's like glimmering. This is what hurt the most. Really? This didn't hurt at all in my butt tattoo, but... Dude, honestly, just the success has gone in my head. Yeah, the 40,000 subs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too much. I couldn't, Can't handle I couldn't it. say no anymore. <laughs> you gave in, dude. I was in Urban Outfitters, and I was walking out. I was like, oh, man. It really kind of changed your energy. You seem like lower, a little bit quieter. I just feel like I know more than people know. Oh, you feel above me? Yeah. That's weird. It's really gone in my head. Fame is weird, dude. It's hard for me to even be around you <laughs> dude you remember boy bands boy bands, boy bands like in sync right backstreet boys what if they had a surfer boy band who would be in it they would have that a surfer boy band like they dance around and yeah sing about what what's the name of the band it was called the surfers kelly yeah. rob but they didn't wear madonna mics and <laughs> <laughs> close they was close to that yeah so tell everybody what's the name of the band and who was in it the surfers the surfers Kelly, Rob, and Peter King. So this reminds me of uh, that. The brain injuries are real in right. surfing. If they, all they could think of was the surfers. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> What's our name going to be, dude? They're like, <laughs> surfers. <laughs> Wait, we surf. But really, what else were they going to name themselves? Something mysterious like... Like the Aquabats. <laughs> the Aqua Boys. <laughs> That'd be rad. The aqua turtles. The aqua turtle sandals. The moon shoes. <laughs> Kelly and the moon shoes. I like the boy band idea. Do you? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, who Kalani would have been in that boy band. He still could be. Yeah. His skin's still so smooth. And then what's that other guy that's so cute that should do the the dancing cute surfer guy? Italo? <laughs> yeah, Italo? Italo would be good. No, the other one. The one we always say should try to be the... Luke Davis. Oh, Luke Davis. Yeah. Luke Davis, Kalani, Italo... You could be in it. It'd be Sterling, Kalani, Italo, Luke Davis, and there needs to be a bad boy. So let's get Aki in there. <laughs> and what would He's the sixty? <laughs> that would be so. Fun. <laughs> Actually, he would love the dancing though. Oh yeah, Aki is a dancer, dude. Dude, he was so underscored. <laughs> underscored. <laughs> He's so underscored on <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. If you haven't seen it, Aki was in Dancing with the Stars. Cut to the clip. Could Aki actually go all the way? You look like you were like warming up for a footy match or trying to jiggle a wedgie out without using your hands. It was literally one of the best things ever. So your guys' name would be the Aqua Boys? The Aqua Thrusters? Ooh, uh, yeah, that'll get the teenage girls. Could <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the Justin Timberlake of the Aqua sh Thrusters? It'd have to be Kalani. Yeah, Kalani's got the best so body. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had any fan interactions lately? I've been having a ton. Really? People yeah. recognizing you at the dunes? I was meditating at the beach. Yeah? In my underwear. You well, I forgot my board shorts. And I was wearing a rainbow underwear by right. accident. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there meditating. Yeah. And this guy comes, he's like, You look like that Spencer dude. Yeah, the podcast boy. He's like, No, I'm not Spencer, I'm Sterling. He's like, No, I'm Matt Sterling. Nuh uh. So there's this like big dune on the beach that yeah, I big, go to. A big sand dune. Yeah, a big sand dune. And dude, I think it's like a gay dune. A gay dune. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, so I go there to meditate and chill and- <laughs> In I your work, rainbow underwear? Well- <laughs> <laughs> So you wore them on accident? <laughs> well, this time I have white sweatpants on. Okay. They kind of had stains and stuff. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> so I'm up there with just white sweatpants on. I'm like, it's such a nice day. Yeah. And I see like this car pull over. And I'm like. Oh, no. This guy's like pulls over like frantically. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to go on a walk. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so I start walking and this guy is starting to head to me. It's kind of far away, and I see him like heading, beelining it straight towards. So you're me. like kind of in a desolate place. Not many. There's people. nothing around. So just a, sand. So you're and at dunes. the you're at the gay dune. Well, and <laughs> I think it might be a gay dune. And a guy pulls up, and you see him walking towards you. So he starts walking towards me, and so I start walking away. I was like, well, maybe this guy just needs like, whatever. <laughs> so then I'm like, I do a circle back. To, to the dune and he he start, starts circling back. I'm like, what the heck, dude? Like, <laughs> why is this guy following me? And it, it, he's got this like real like, I'm coming straight to yeah, you, like dude. A, like, I'm coming. <laughs> like a brisk walk. <laughs> so I started like walking faster and I run up the dune. I'm like, <laughs> and I sit back at the top of the dune and when I sit down, I look down and he's right under the dune. Oh dam. my God. And he's just staring at me. So I like pretend I don't see him. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're playing hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like sitting there, and finally he's like, "How's the view up there?" Oh no, is and that I'm, code word? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I am like, uh, "What? Huh?" I'm like, "What?" I'm like scared. I don't know yeah. what to say. I'm like, "What?" He's like, "How's the view up there?" I was like, "Good," and he's just like. And he just keeps staying and staring. I was like, he's waiting for you. To so I get on my phone. I'm like, Dude, this is weird. <laughs> so for minutes, he's just kind of, and then he starts like, wait, is this not the like, this isn't the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so then he walks, he walks away. And, uh, oh, no. so I'm like, I'm like trying not to make eye contact. <laughs> he's like 10 feet away from you. He's like, I'm way high on the dune. He's like down there. <laughs> okay. So I look over and he's taking a pee. Oh, he's and trying to. He's get taking you. a pee, and I look, and he goes <gasps> and catches my eyes. I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, he saw me watching him pee. Oh, no, so he's back <laughs> down under the den. And I'm back, just sitting, just like just okay. trying not to get eye contact. <laughs> and then he like walks, starts walking away. Yeah, I was like, Phew. and I like look over, and he instantly goes. <gasps> <laughs> catches my eyes again I'm like damn it like how's he so good you're like look and then he looks yeah like Dude. he's like <gasps> oh boy and he finally walked off and I was like god that was gnarly that was a close one so I think it's like I think it's like a spot maybe they know that's where they like right. hook up it's a whatever. hookup dune it's a hookup dune it's a hookup dune but is that legal I think it's legal if no one knows <laughs> 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 is it legal I don't know. Like, is is public stuff legal? I mean, the dunes is, it's far away from society. <laughs> right. It's out in the boonies, bro. So that really tripped me out. I was like, okay, maybe that's just like some creepy guy. Yeah. Random, random happenstance. So then I go back yesterday. Oh no, you wanted more? This time, I, <laughs> this time I'm like, I'm not wearing the white sweatpants. Yeah. More, something more intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> this time I wore a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> what did you wear? I think just board shorts. Oh, okay. like just surf. Yeah, surf guy. So I'm sitting in the dune, and there's bushes behind me, and this guy pops out. He's like, <laughs> I was like, ah, like totally freaked <laughs> you, you me. You didn't out. know he was there. No, I didn't know he's in there. And he's like, hey, I'm like, hey. <laughs> Like we're in the middle of nowhere, so it's like kind of scary talking to people. And there's no car anywhere of his. Well, there there's like cars oh, okay, on the okay. road. So I'm like, oh uh, hey. So I just like sit, and he's kind of like breathing heavy. I'm like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> and then I see this guy coming, oh, no. walking towards us. <laughs> Not coming, but walking. <laughs> <laughs> so he's walking up, and then the friend behind him, he's got this like flag, and he's like, Dune time. And I'm like, oh no, like I'm in the middle of an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. 
Dang. So I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. So I start walking down the hill and he's like, <laughs> he's like blocking me. He's like, hey. And I'm like walking this way. He's like walking with me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. He's like, hey, hey, whoa. <laughs> and I like basically like juked him and ran around him. <sighs> and then I look back up and they're both on the top of the hill looking down at me with their hands on their hips. They're like, they're like, we lost. Like, them. Where are you going? <laughs> you came to the right place. Is there a time of day that this goes down? I mean, this was in the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to find a new dune, bro. Does anyone out there know if this if is there gay dunes? Yeah, I don't know. Let's ask. Is there gay dunes? <laughs> <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, you're just not gay. Well, it's scary for me. Like well, guys walking up to me breathing heavily. Right. When that I'm would just scare chilling. Yeah. yeah. You're just meditating. <laughs> Wow. Like there needs to be like, maybe they set a flag somewhere. I mean, you kind of picked up on it pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting out the vibes, the heavy breathing, <laughs> the fake peeing to see if you'd look. Uh, I didn't think about that. He, he was also in the Speedo. <laughs> well, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to go there, but I just don't want to be pestered. Is this what pretty girls feel like? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, yeah, like, yeah, because they're a like a girl goes to the beach and every guy's like walking around, like trying to catch their eye, like, oh hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm just hanging out, and they're just like, mm, I just want to tan, yeah, I just want to sit here. I think this is what pretty girls feel like. <sighs> it's hard, really it's scary. <laughs> like you just want to chill, and everyone's like trying to do you. Yeah, it's not right. It's harder than I thought being a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sterling, you know what time it is. It's West Peak. It's West Peak time. We're gonna drink friggin' West Peak and we're gonna friggin' do pinch my clamps. Ooh. Dude, this is your favorite flavor, punch, right? So good. <laughs> Dude, you never get over that smell. It smells like a sunset. Mm. You know how you feel when you watch a sunset? Yeah. It's the same feeling. Yeah, you, that warm embrace. It's just like <laughs> toes in the sand. You know, when you're normally drinking, it's kind of like a down. Yeah, it's a downer. This is an uh, This is an upper. <laughs> Dude. It's literally the best thing to watch Pinch My Clips too. Let's do it. Guys, freaking order these and drink with us. They're and two send pics. We'll post them. Yeah, we'll post them. Get some, guys. They're two grams of sugar. I love that it's gluten-free because I just feel like everything's better gluten-free. For sure. Go to drinkwestpeak.com. Get type some in. West Peak and tag us on Instagram. We'll post you. We'll post you, bros. Drinkwestpeak.com. Type in pinch my salt for 20% off. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you, surfers. Yeah, he, who, who, tell a hook. Dude, is he injured? <laughs> Look, they're pulling him on the jet ski. Like, why would you do that? You're done, son. You fool. Dude, I thought this was genius. This guy gave himself a ticket <laughs> so that when they drive what? by. What? I never thought of that. That's next level. Genius. So stick a ticket. They won't give it to you. Why haven't I thought of that? Me trying to keep alcohol out of my <laughs> <laughs> This is me and carbs. This is, this is us trying to not to drink a West Peak. Yep. Who is this oh, guy? The guy's gnarly. Where's he going? See if Kelly had tats? I know. Where's he going? This is Nazare. He forgot his boogie board. He's body surfing. Oh, he's He's body. just going to swim out there. This guy's oh. gnarly. That is like death so scary look at this guy it's a huge wave he's just swimming in it that people do this he's just raw dogging it he's just wrangling the ocean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at him he's in a huge barrel he's still going look at him he is the board <laughs> right he's a seal kelly's gotta get some he's got that uh ab v thing going God. shoo Whoa, dude, they found footage of you. The new uh, generation's music will be, um, it might rely uh, heavily on uh, uh, electronics. One person with a lot of machines. Is this me in my last life? Like, yeah. for real? You were just grumpy. You know how, you know, I have a thing with DJs? He was talking about DJs. Yeah. It's he, me. He was talking, to, yeah. What I mean, the heck? 
This is me in my past life. Like in the 70s. I was the doors. So he's talking about how one day it'll all be machines. And, everyone and then got, now I'm on a podcast talking about, yeah. look at these idiots on machines. DJs. DJs. So what is that guy named Jim Morrison? Mm-hmm. He predicted DJs. I mean, I mean, that's me. Look at this animal. Oh my. <gasps> is that legal? Isn't he like a flight path? He, not he went over that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't he in like... Uh, Look it's so soft. I know the landing was like. Hmm. It was nothing. Uh. Uh. Oh. So is that? Is that not is this normal? Legal? Okay. Look at this. Legend. Steez Lord. Holy. Uh, Jesus. Is it too steezy though? What was that? What? <laughs> is this Craig Anderson? That's like, what I was gonna say. Oh, hopped up on ayahuasca. Look at Craig. Is it Craig? It. Uh, yeah. It looks like him, but then. It doesn't. That like that. Sick. Is that too much drop knee? <sighs> He's, it's borderline too much sauce. Yeah. The sauce needs to be a touch less, but it's, it's sick. It's pretty insane. There's this thing in skateboarding. People make fun of it all the time. If say you like landed a small trick that shouldn't, they over yes. it. Well, that's kind of nice. It's like you just dropped off a two stair. So yeah, to, there's a balance of power and steez. Yeah. Cause you can over sauce it. A lot of this new generation, they, they're too steezy. Yeah. And it's like, dude, you got to do something gnarly first to yeah. put some ham on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to do the gnarliest carve, and then when you're coming out of it, be like, like yeah. so steezy, like, didn't even care. And is claiming a wave looked down upon? <sighs> dude, claiming, I feel like claim is only okay if it's organic. Like, like if the- you, yeah, if you're shouting from joy at the bottom of your height. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's the only time and it's okay. So like for people who don't know what claiming is, it's when someone like gets the sickest barrel, lands the craziest trick, and they just go, yeah. yeah. Like, but even if you're a kook and like. Dude, if I got barreled, I don't think I could hold back. go for it. I'd get chills all I of them. I think you should go for the claim. Because I don't want to be like, oh, I do this all the time. The only claim is like when guys in surf contests trying to get scores. Oh, and they. They're trying it. to get a five and they like. Yes. <laughs> It's like shut up, like and, like you didn't deserve the claim. If I was a judge, I would minus point. <laughs> oh, the junior is this junior? The junior dude, cheeseburger. This guy is the original plus size legend. Is he? Let's check him out. Dude, look at him. Dude, he was gnarly. He Whoa. used to, he used to serve VLAN and do the craziest soul arches, but he was like mega plus size and he shredded, dude. dude and he can that board's. Not too big. That board's giant. He's throwing <laughs> it around like a freaking toothpick. Like a Frito. Look at him. Jeez. Oh. He was crushed. Look at that soul arch <laughs> bottom turn to crack. Mm. He's on like an 11 footer. He's on an 11 foot short board just like, what? <laughs> this guy's sick. I, s- I feel like uh, Mason House surfs like this guy. Yeah. His name is Junior. <laughs> Pause that. Look at this. Look at the style. <laughs> He's a legend, dude. So he was the original plus size surfer. Dude, he paved the way for us. Dude. God bless you, Junior. Okay, this can't be real. It cannot be real. Oh, no. Look how dangerous this is. Fall on your head? It's kind of cheating, don't you think? Yeah, because they're going to get better way faster. Why wouldn't this make you way better? Seriously. Like, look. Look how functional it is. Yeah. Look at- Gosh. Yeah, that's easy. It's not fair. Look at this technology. This guy wants to fish. This guy fishes. <laughs> this guy fishes. What's happening? <gasps> oh my God. Dude, that shark was like, you freaking nerd. <laughs> With all your technology. <gasps> all right, watch. What kind of shark is that? I don't know. That's sketch. Dude, remember that story where you used to have goldfish trunks and got bit by a shark? To Billabong, they gave me these board shorts with like, yeah, little yellow goldfish. Or orange goldfish. They, 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 were, they were real goldfish on your shorts, like pictures of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these trunks, they're white with goldfish all over them. Oh, yes. Pictures of real goldfish. Yes. And I remember I was swimming, I was teaching like this chick to serve. Oh. And I 
like was pushing her and then I feel like <laughs> something pulling me and I thought were you swimming next to me? I remember being at the beach. I might have been on the beach. I thought someone was messing with me, like pulling me back. Yeah. And I looked down and there's this shark like that big. And it was biting the goldfish and trying to rip it off my shorts. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, it's a shark. It's tiny, but it's a shark. Like Its mouth was like this big. Like, Dude, that could still shred your leg. Oh, it could have taken a chunk out for sure. Dude. like, And it ripped, like the finally just ripped. A goldfish off. So it's a hole. In it. <laughs> it's not a good idea to put realistic small fish on your board. <laughs> yeah, I've learned that. <laughs> you should have sued Billabong. That was kind of gnarly, dude. I didn't realize how gnarly that was <laughs> till now. Kind of. They're like putting bait on your. <laughs> 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 They're putting bait all over your body. I thought those shorts were so rad. They were. Rad. And then also the sharks. Like, <laughs> so this is kind of a big clip going around right now. What's going on here? I haven't seen this yet. What's going on? Kelly's on a soft top. <gasps> Kelly's on a He's soft rebelling. top. He's rebelling. He's out there? Isn't that him? He's with Jamie. Jamie gave him a, some psych juice and got him out there. Wow. This is a pipeline. Look at them. So it's backwash or something? Yeah. Was that yeah. <laughs> look, how, look how long it's taken them. I wonder if they timed the tide out or something. Oh, guy at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Can they get it? I think Kelly Bale. Oh. Jeez. <gasps> he's, he's still, still going. going. He got a triple. That was rad. Surf hard. Kelly's like, surf harder. <laughs> He's like, more. This is a, Is this the actual wave in AI? Because uh, you know the waves are <gasps> yeah. coming together. This He's, is the wave. He's trying to tell him something. <laughs> the end is coming. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the world, Kelly will be on the final wave. Yeah, the tsunami. The tsunami. He'll be like, God. He'll be dodging skyscrapers like. Yeah. <laughs> Like, must keep going. Grab a z- z- harder. Keep my statue up at Coco Bay. <laughs> There's footage of you and Polly in the Swiss Alps. <laughs> <laughs> Good eye, mate. Dude, that's my dream. Rollerblading, Rollerblading with, Polly. with Polly on my back in the Swiss Alps. I love when he comes into frame and he's like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> this dog is so lucky. I know. I want to be him. When's the last time you rollerbladed? I don't know. Let's do it. Let's get some blades. Yeah, we should. Should get a sponsor. <laughs> Holy. So this used to be a thing, I guess, in the, <laughs> in the Olympics. Hip-hop skiing? Yeah. 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 All right. And spice. Spicy girl. Oh, yeah. Oh. What was this called? Whoa. Like alternative dance skiing? Ski dancing? What? Scanting? Skanking? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ski anking? Dude, they found footage of Jack. They found Jack? <laughs> He's been missing. Jack's been missing? Jack Johnson? Yeah, Jack Johnson's been missing. Whoa. Make a banana pancake. <laughs> then and it's the weekend. Dude, he's gone full Hawaiian. Well, I think it, the, you know how he made that album for Curious George? Yeah. He thinks he's a monkey now. Oh, he went in too deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, he is lost it. Look at him. Jack Johnson, come. Whoa. Oh. oh, my. Look at him. <laughs> That was him at Rocky Point. Dude. This is how he cruises around Whoa. the North Shore now. And, he, and he, everyone yeah. everyone knows it? Well, everyone's like, it's just Jack Johnson. Like, <laughs> he's just making a banana pancakes. Oh, he's looking for ingredients? <laughs> Whoa. He goes out and plucks his own bananas. Dang. <laughs> how gnarly Jack is. Yeah. So his family's not concerned? I think everyone just goes with it. Yeah, because he's Cause killed. he's Jack. Dude, if you're a banana, you're screwed. <laughs> Dude, that's the last thing a banana sees. <laughs> Jack Johnson. A poor banana's like. Mm. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Dude, have you, do you remember Fruit Slicer? What's it called? Fruit Ninja. Look at this guy. Fruit Ninja. Look at this Fruit Ninja, dude. <laughs> Look at it. this. I didn't notice the fruit, but. Look how hard it, this stand-up paddler is shredding. So ah, but why Why doesn't he just surf? That's a good t-shirt. Why don't you just surf? <laughs> <laughs> what the fart? <laughs> oh, is this Salima? This is gnarly. The carving. That looks sick. If I snowboarded, this is how I would. Oh, my god! If I snowboarded, this is what I'd be doing. You'd be carving just it? carving gnarly. Carving gnarly. Carving gnarly. Okay, here we go. What's this? Whoa. Oh, my 
god this is john john that's john john <gasps> dude is that the highest what back is, swipe this is this is amazing but what is he thinking <laughs> what do you mean this is before his heat in portugal you can go break an ankle. Oh, okay. Does that happen a lot? Ankle breakers, dude. All the young guys are always injured, and it's like, dude, stop trying the five hundreds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is where Kelly was so much smarter than these guys. Like he, he stayed low key. He only like did that stuff in a heat. Right. He was trying to win. This guy was, dude. This is Jeff Brack in the early O's. He was so scary to me. This is where like the brain injury talk comes in. Yeah. Like anger is a, it's a brain injury side effect. Right. Like if you see a guy like hitting his head against his board, like people need to like rally around them and be like, hey, let's get you like the support you need. Right. And you're not being funny. Like you're serious. Yes. Like, dude, that's dude. more, he's punching himself. Like. So back in the day he was known for like. Just, well, I feel like in the early O's that was like badass. Oh, like he's a rebel. Yeah. Like you're a rebel. But really like, is this like, you know, a young kid. Asking for help. Right. I don't know. It's something to think about as we like know more. Yeah. Like I feel like if you start seeing surfers getting like weird and grumpy, like you got to watch out for it's your like, bros. It's like NFL. You hear about this guy killing his We're wife. We're getting CTE. Yeah. We have to like start realizing that. I agree. And helping each other. Like people just help. Like most people, they'll help if like someone like hits them up. I'm like, okay, I guess. Like I'm eating goldfish right now, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll come help. We have to watch out for each other. So, Especially how many surfers do you think a brain injury happens every time you go out in the water in some small way? If the waves are a little bit bigger, I think if like these pro surfing kids that are trying these tricks and stuff, yeah. I think they're getting like tiny concussions and they build up over the years. Yeah. It's just over. It's almost like a boxer, like just sparring, but yeah. you're still getting knocked a touch. Yeah. I remember hearing Joe Rogan talk about like, he doesn't want to spar. That's why he, cause he knows his brain is getting hit. He just, that's getting why, rattled. that's why he, uh, what do you call it? Jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. Eventually we're going to have to like figure out a system to make sure these kids don't go like go and kill themselves. Well, like think that's of, the first thing that's going to happen. Right. And think about like, uh, there's a huge movement in, in like junior football, not to put your kids in football anymore, like at a young, young age. Yeah. So I wonder if it'll be like that with surfing. Like, dude, once this becomes more aware and more people understand it, the kids in Hawaii that are already surfing like pipeline and stuff, like it's not good for them. Yeah, it's like going to play football at 10 years old. Yeah, they're getting tackled every way. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. A wave is tackling you and <laughs> hitting your head. Ugh. So Speak- if you start seeing like a guy talking slower and like right. angry. And-, and that's why surfers all talk like this, man. We got to freaking look out for each other. Okay, dude, look at this. You know how Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, is that his name? Jake Paul are fighting? Look at Mike Tyson at 16. Oh God. He's 16 and he could kill anybody. And this is Jake Paul at 16. <laughs> <laughs> did, what a loser. Did Jake Paul, does he know Satan? People have this the theory that they sold their soul to the devil. And they're, <laughs> do you believe in that crap? They just, they figured out you don't actually have to be good. At, it's the DJs thing. All right. They figured out. You don't actually have to be gnarly. Just talk just a lot. Figure out how yell. to get the views. And get the views. Money. I think that they're so like, they're so they did everything. They got all they the money. The algorithm. They have all the money, all the houses, all the women, all the stuff, and they're like, oh, I don't feel anything anymore, so I'm gonna go box. And then his other brothers like WWE flying <laughs> across stuff. I think they're struggling with not actually getting good at something. Right. Like each man needs like yeah. their thing. Yeah. And like, they figured out how to get rich. Yeah. And they're like, but we didn't like actually get good at anything. Yeah. Just like no one actually respects us. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what it is. They're trying to get respect. Right. Dude, imagine showing this to someone back in the like 1700s. Look at this guy. He has a VR headset. He has this crazy chair. Dude, I want this. I know. <laughs> Look at it. He's like, later. I don't want the headset, but I'd like that scooter thing. <laughs> Cruise around the airport. Do you know how many uh, outlets this guy needs to keep things charged? (laughs) See, back to VR. God, dude, I heard it's VR to the ER. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, why? (gasps) Look what he—he's grabbing his nuts. What? (gasps) I didn't see that. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, so this is like surf molestation? Look at his face, like the guy on the right. He's like, oh, yeah, you're going to cut me off? I'm going to grab you. I'm going to grab you by the groin and take you home to <laughs> Mammy. <laughs> Dude, that's a good way to get people to stop cut- cutting you off. I have a question. When did cutting someone off become like a, a no-no? Like when when was the first guy to cut someone off and be like, wait a second, let's figure this out. <laughs> if I'm over <laughs> here, you can't drop in on me. You know what I'm saying? I think when short boards came around. Because people were just... Dink, 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 dink. Well, once you started being able to like shred the wave good, yeah. then you're like, well, I don't want anyone on here anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because longboards are just... Yeah, they're just on longboards. Like, oh, let's all share. Because I was thinking about the other day, like, who's the first person to drop in on somebody? And it was like, wait a second. Everyone had to sit down and make the rule. Like, there's no... I think shortboarding. Because shortboarding, you just kind of need to be by yourself on it to actually right. shred. Dude, this is, I think this is an e-bike gang. <gasps> this is an e-bike fight? Yeah, this is an Encinitas. Oh, my God. Look, whoa. Jeez. Dude, watch this. So he dropped his phone and he, wants his, careful. he wants his phone back. He's like, give me the freaking phone, dude. He's Take like, his phone? Yeah, watch. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, I've always wanted to do that, and he did it. Dude, it would, couldn't have lined up any more better. Look at this little. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to freaking run over here. Look at that. Oh, my God. Dude, check this wave out. Oh, no one gets it. Someone in that? I don't know. Look, okay, this guy's like, I'm gonna pull what? Up. And this someone's in that? The ocean birthed this man. Dude, go back. Okay, I guess. <gasps> How see, did he stand right, up? Right at the beginning. He's in there. Look, you can see him right there for a sec. He's up. This is one of the most amazing barrels I've ever seen. The drone guy <laughs> didn't even know. Look at that. That was crazy. We're not going to say anything about this next clip. We want to see if the viewers can tell what's wrong with it, okay? Okay. Can you t- spot it? Mm-hmm. I mean, everything looks normal, but... Yeah, there's something to it. <gasps> what is going on? Who is this man? Jeez. Dude, this... Can you go to the beach any cooler? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could. Dude. Dude, how do you stay so limber and loose all the time? What? <laughs> How do you stay so limber and loose? Like, I see you. You're so good at moving. <laughs> Dude, I slackline a lot. I know. You try to get me That's on it. It's one of, like, my biggest secrets my whole life. And I think people kind of make fun of it because it's hard. You have to strap well, it. They, to... they look at you like dirty hippies right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dirty hippies. <laughs> it's the best thing for surfing. Why? You know how hard it is to stand on a board? Yeah. I mean, a board is, like, this wide. Yeah. And a slack line is this wide. Whoa. You can master that. When you get on a board, it's like, oh, this is like walking on the street. So slacklining is kind of a secret to your... Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, what's this thing? Whoa. Dude. <laughs> Dude, this is like a secret I've had for a while. Let me see. It's what called is... the Gibboard. It's a slack line you can take anywhere. What? So if you're at the beach, that's dude, that's the one thing that drives me crazy. Right. When I get to the beach, I have nowhere to Yeah, palm slack. trees are too far apart. Do you guys see it? <laughs> yeah, let me see. Let's see it. Whoa, dude. So it works. Look at me. Look at me go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Gee, whoa. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fun thing to have around because you just end up standing on it and it like feels good. And, yeah. And they look cool. What I like about it around the house it looks it looks cool it's not like some hokey thing right i think if you have a child you have to have this thing it's just so fun for them i know and slack lines are intimidating yeah. for kids because yeah. they're higher up yeah and, dude you try to get me to do it i'm scared i don't yeah. want to get hurt and you can take it anywhere i, I throw it in the van and then throw yeah. it on the beach girls see me on this and they're like whoa really yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so go to giboardus.com and get one these things are sick. Right, Sterling? Uh. <laughs> Dude, what is up with that guy stealing you know the rules? Who is that guy? I don't know. He's some TikToker. They and call him Beaver, I think. Beaver the TikToker? <laughs> and he has a you know the rules tattoo? He got you know the rules tattoo. You got, you're just telling us you got you know the rules patented. Yeah, in the And you tatty. got tatted. Yeah, it's it, with the look. It's it's funny. I listened to uh, it was Cody Ko's podcast. Cody Ko. This dude just heard us say it, and he's like, "I could probably steal this. Like they're not that famous." So it's confirmed that he stole it. Oh yeah, for 100%. sure. Hundred percent. For sure, he heard us it, through the grapevine. He had like a big audience on TikTok. He's like, "Oh, I'm way bigger than them. I'll just do it." But he doesn't freaking know, like. Yeah. How long I've been doing this. Right. We have proof from 2000. 
Show, show the original You Know the Rules video. This was 20 years ago. Hey, Bruce. So yeah, dude, that was 20 years ago. And we were blessed by like a surf god to say that. Yeah, Brandon Diaz. Brayden Diaz. Brayden Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> you got me ruined? Well, I was walking up to Pipe for the first time. And I was with Jordy Smith. And all of a sudden we hear this, Hey, you know the rules? And we were like, what? And we couldn't see anything. Uh -huh. We just heard this voice. So we just like keep walking. He's like, hi, you know the rules. And we see these like little hands on the fence. This head pops out. He's like, <laughs> and it was this guy, Braden Diaz, who's like, at the time, the gnarliest pipe guy. <laughs> you know the rules. And we were like, huh? Oh, what, are the, what are the rules? And we were like looking at each other. What's the rules? What's the rules? What's the rules? Jordy's like, uh, we. We don't know, actually. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Brayden's like, what? You talking back to me? And Jordy's like, uh, I don't know the rules. And we just stopped talking. Right. And then when we stopped talking, he was like, <laughs> Brayden. We got blessed by a pipeline god, Brayden Diaz. With the funniest catchphrase. You know what I mean? I was 14. I'm 37 now. Yeah. How many years is that? Can Polly do the math? 23 years <laughs> <laughs> 23 years ago dude well if you're gonna like copy us give us a shout out give us a shout like, out just like Bra me and Braden Diaz I didn't just say I yeah you told I the story yeah like just some people just have no dignity <laughs> <laughs> But what's funny, TikTok is getting shut down. So Dude, what is he going to do? I hope and pray that TikTok gets shut it's down. It's already been shut. No, it's not shut. Yes. No. It got, it's, it's legal. Get, it's getting close to illegal. No, it's official. No way. Look it up. It's official. They just haven't done it yet. Oh. Like it's, it's, ha it's happening. Sterling, here we are again. We have to let <laughs> them say it. We have to do it. Oh. Please, guys. They know. They don't. <laughs> There's tons of people that aren't subscribing. But don't. They're not liking and they're not commenting. Guys. We should easily get past a thousand likes every episode like that. You know the rules. Sterling put his scarf on for this. Do you remember the first time you like saw a girl and all of a sudden it was like Yeah. What's going on? Her name was Aaron. She Her name had... was Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron. In sixth grade, like all the schools came together, all the elementary schools. Combined? Like, there's three different elementary schools, so when middles comes around, like they all go into one. Okay. So there's a whole new litter of girls. Ooh. And I remember getting there like, whoa, this is not really. Like there's this. brunettes now. <laughs> <laughs> they started wearing like tiny stuff because of Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. Aguilera. And I was like, whoa, this is like. Yeah, genie in the bottle, but right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a whole nother level of, uh, of temptation. <laughs> well, it's like, what is this feeling? It's it's like testosterone, genetics. It's like... <laughs> yeah, it's like blood coursing through my veins, and I didn't know why. Dude, getting a Johnson at school <laughs> was the worst. Dude, boners were gnarly at I wasn't going to say the word. Dude, and you'd have to go to the bathroom like... <laughs> Dude, and you're not even some creepy perv kid. You're just like, my body's doing it. It's like something your parents need to talk to you about. Like, hey, this when thing... I, sixth grade came around, yep. I was walking around with so much boners. <laughs> and I was like, dude, are you, I was, I'm like, dude, are you getting like these crazy boners? And when you're a kid, you don't even know what it is. You don't even know what boner is. Yeah, you're like, wait. Well, here, yeah. Dads out there need to talk, have the sex talk with their kids, the birds and the bees. And you need to learn to like strap it down down there. Yeah, why don't they sell those? <laughs> <laughs> Literally all day long, you're like, oh my gosh. Like you just see like some skin on. You're like, ah. Yeah, your, your 60 year old teacher wears a weird dress and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was so weird when you start getting a little bit older and, and like, like your teacher that's wearing like the most homely dress ever. Yeah. All of a sudden you're like, <laughs> like, why is she so hot? <laughs> it's like, like the ugliest dress <laughs> ever. And you're like, God dang. 
Sheesh, like Miss a, Molly. It's like a little house <laughs> on the prairie dress. Yes. And you're like, whoa. You're like, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> and you're shooting your best shot all day long. To the teacher? Oh, dude, all of us were. Like, we're all trying to I'm, get. I'm doing attention. good, Miss Perkinson. <laughs> <sighs> if she was like kind of young and wearing a, a <laughs> home. <laughs> Like in her thirties, yeah. When she's you're... in her thirties and like just kind of decent looking, dude. All day long, all of us were just like, "God dang!" This... She she would just like come and like look at your homework, and her hand like might just barely <laughs> be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and girls had no idea this was going on. Dude, girls had it so much easier. Yeah, they're just like, "All right, I'm gonna do good in school today." They have no idea oh. what it's like to be a guy with so much testosterone. Is that what it is? Just testosterone? I think so. It's mostly. And then like you watch Power Rangers and the Pink Ranger the day before and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People don't talk about that enough for the kids to know like it's okay. It's okay to fall in love with your 60 year old <laughs> little house on the prairie teacher. Well, I think kids need to know about like the energies they're, they're going to deal with. Right. Because I think some of them like have so much energy and then it gets put in the bad area right like they'll do drugs or get into fights and they're just horny <laughs> yeah like th- cats you ever hear cats like getting all horned up we're the same way at school <laughs> <laughs> all dude in elementary school there was no fights no one yeah. was punching each other yeah. and then middle school comes around to the testosterone and we're all getting horned up with right. boners yeah and we get around each other and like we don't know how to deal with so much energy in our pants. So the kids that had their dads tell them, they've got more of a zen. They know, okay, I know what's going on. Yeah, like, oh, this is normal. Like, right. This is fine. Like, you're, not, you're not a bad kid. <laughs> or like, because yeah. you're horny for your <laughs> 50 year old 50 year old teacher and her moo moo on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So dads out there, talk to your kids. <laughs> but. It was like wild time in middle school. Dude, so many fights were going down. Yeah, it was all. I'd, every time I'd walk into the main area, there'd be yeah. so, a backpack. Yeah, <laughs> full of books. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you think nowadays with phones, like kids have the P word right in here. Porn. <laughs> like, it's like Insta gnarly. It's not good for them. Dude, iPhones, social media. Dude, it took, dude, I wasn't, I was like a grown man until I saw like a naked person. <laughs> Nowadays, it's like they're seven and they're watching hardcore stuff. Dude, it's so bad. So bad. Like you would hear about someone like found a magazine in the yeah. woods. Oh, yeah. And you'd be like, what? Or they spent eight days downloading it off of AOL. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't around for me yet. Really? You were in Australian stuff probably watching <laughs> weird stuff. Oh, well, that's a whole nother thing. Oh, story. gosh. Did you ever have uh, friends putting pressure on you to get to a certain base? No. I went to a Christian school and everyone was just mm. like fake Christian. And Dude, I went to a public school and that was the gnarliest pressure. To like you and Carol going to do it tonight? <sighs> well, in sixth grade, all the like, you'd hear is like some guys are like, dude, so-and-so got the second base. I still like, don't even know what that is. You're like, what? It's touching boobs. That's second base? Yeah. Because it's second to boobs. So <laughs> kiss is first base. Boobs is second. Okay. And third is Touch, touching it. down there. And Touch. then home run is, is premarital t- sex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I know. So if you hadn't gotten the second base, dude, you were a loser. Yeah. And it was so, not, you'd walk around all day long like, dude, that guy hasn't even gotten the second base. And you're like, dude, it was gnarly. Like, and everyone lied, I bet. I, <laughs> I should have lied. Yeah, just, yeah, I did. But I, I didn't. At our school, it was always the skating rink. If you right. were going to go to the next base. Low lights, yeah. loud music. So basically, right. it was a club for kids. It was. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have like slushies? Dude, it was so scary. I, I had this girlfriend, and she put so much pressure on me to make out. Dude. You told this story where someone took a picture. <laughs> <laughs> But that was the pressure at all times, the skating rink. It was yeah. like the one place your parents wouldn't think. Yeah, they're having fun. They're rolling around on <laughs> 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 But really, everyone be in the corner. 
Yeah. But they would they would time stuff. You remember kids would be like, hey, fight's going down at noon. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and so. Yeah. If you were going to like go to the next base. You had to time it up. They would be like, okay, eight o'clock at the skating rink. They're going to do it. And people would be like, what? And like <laughs> everyone would come to watch. Gross. So this like, is kind of like nowadays at the dunes though. <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's advanced to the dunes. But isn't that crazy? Like kids just standing around waiting to watch someone make out. And I guess before social media, touch boobs and stuff. They had nothing they could watch. <laughs> Dude, Sterling and Teresa are going to the corner <laughs> at eight p.m. Serious? It was like that. Weird. You lived in a different world than me. We were memorizing Bible verses. <laughs> <laughs> Public school was intense. And Gulf Breeze was like a bunch of rich white kids. Yeah. Do rich white kids are dangerous they're not real well they don't get as much i don't think they get love uh because the dad's working so hard to make money for yeah. the for the boat payment <laughs> <laughs> no it's serious yeah like, sadly like... <laughs> no i think like rich white kids don't get like good community love hmm. so they get into weird stuff faster drugs yeah like i remember so many of my friends doing like hard drugs in middle school like, I'm like what is going on like what kind of hard drug like catnip <laughs> <laughs> they were doing like ecstasy where are they getting it i remember kids at the skating rink doing like ecstasy and where did they find it i don't know it was gnarly like i'd be <laughs> skating and i was like dude people are people are making out over there and taking drugs over here and i would be like skating so yeah. fast like dodging all these distractions <laughs> trying to like, do twirls <laughs> i was already like set in my mind i was gonna be a pro surfer and a christian <laughs> <laughs> lydia was like well that was already solidified so you were so focused on being a pro surfer you're like i'm not going in the corner well i was never gonna do drugs right like did your dad tell you that don't do drugs well my dad told me that and i had the momentum generation, they were really, they all didn't do drugs. Oh, okay. And they were vocal about it. Explain who the momentum generation is real fast. It's like ta what Taylor Steele did. Taylor Steele, like Rob Kelly, Matano. Kelly, Rob, and Shane. And they were and, clean. What do you call it? Straight edge. They're all straight edge. Yeah. Like Kalani probably was secretly. Yeah. Dude, so. <laughs> <laughs> like some soft top hits. And Benji. And Benji. <laughs> but for the, the guys that were actually like, doing good on tour yeah they're all straight edge <laughs> <laughs> so they were a good influence i feel like on on me well that's cool like i was like i'm never doing drugs if kelly's not doing it i'm not doing it dude i was training so hard yeah like <laughs> seriously i was training hard when you're what 12 13 14 15 16 yeah. wow I had my skate ramp set up and oh, I would yeah. I would pretend I was like shredding so hard, like doing airs on them, like good gosh, gosh. Yeah. So you stayed out of drugs, alcohol, but the girls. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good positive little thing you're talking about right now. <laughs> Stay away from drugs, guys. Remember the crab analogy? Everyone wants to bring you Yeah, down. it's a crab's in the bucket and everyone wants to pull each other down. Well, no one wanted to like give me credit for like how hard I was working. Right. So you were But like, I was training gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I had slack lines and trampolines dude. and like dude, all day long I was training if the surf wasn't up. Do you think that was a heavy influence from your dad? Because you would watch him just surf nonstop. I don't know about the training. Um Yeah, did guys in that era even like lift a weight? I I so do you remember T J Barron? I know that name. TJ Barron was this Hawaiian kid surfer and he was on Endless Summer 2. Okay. And he, he was like a god to me. And he was in Surfer Magazine. He was on the cover of Surfer Magazine when he was 12. Dang. With Sonny Garcia and Kalani Rob. What? <laughs> so I remember reading an article. He said he surfed uh, 19 hours a week or something. Is that a lot? That's got to be a lot. Being from the Gulf, I was, oh, yeah. I was logging in like one hour. Because the waves <laughs> suck. My dad was like, he's like, you're way behind if you want to. Dude, he always would just <laughs> manipulate you. He'd say little things. Well, old TJ's getting. He's like, TJ's surfing 19 hours. So if the surf wasn't flat, so under my house, I set up, I built these quarter pipes. You can't build. I built quarter pipes. Like so I got a piece of ply. Yeah. And then I would nail them to the, uh, we had these, uh, the big 
Pilings. Pilings. Or, yeah. So I would bend it and nail it. <laughs> it wasn't one. great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I put them in each corner under the house. That actually sounds rad. Dude, it was sick. So I had like six to eight. Little wapadoos? All around the house. So I had my like uh, freaking Tony Hawk skateboard. I would, I loosen the trucks. Yeah. So it was super wobbly. Oh, so I could, so I would, could pump. Yeah. Day one song. So I'd wake up like early in the morning and I was like, okay, uh, today's like my first round. <laughs> like in your head, like put your headband on. So like, I'd do like dun, 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 maybe dun, dun, dun. a 30 minutes to an hour and I'll go downstairs and just be like, oh, just like <laughs> hit each lid, like, oh, <laughs> under that I was like, <laughs> and I had a barrel set up. I had a tarp hanging over no. the trash cans and I get a barrel back. <laughs> and dude, all more, all day long, I'd be like, <laughs> dude, it's like white trash inland surfing. <laughs> It really helped. Dude. Because I couldn't, I would go over to the East Coast and try to surf against these kids. And I, and it was like, I couldn't, I was so athletic, but I couldn't keep up yeah. with these kids. I was like, I got to find a way where I can shred. Dude. So I set up all this surf stuff under my house. That is sick. And I probably hit it five to 10 times a day. Like I'm going to hit the like, park. I ended up just, quitting video games because i was just like dude i gotta freaking I gotta focus <laughs> <laughs> so then i had my trampoline out back yeah and i had it set up under this giant tree i was like i gotta like prepare myself for like some big wipeouts because oh. i was always like getting ready for hawaii one day yeah. like so we had this giant tree and I would jump out of it, <laughs> land on my back and do like a front flip out of it onto the ground like Goosh. dude if i would have been there would have thrown buckets <laughs> of water on you <laughs> I mean, it was like at least 10 to 15 so feet you, high. Yeah, so you were simulating. Do you remember me jumping out of it? Yeah. <laughs> so you were simulating like a pipeline at your house in yes. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> jumping out of trees, skateboarding yes. under your house, tubes by trash cans. I would take cold showers because um, I was like, I got to get ready for winter. Yeah. So I would take cold showers all summer to get ready. <laughs> and you're like 12? Dude, I was like eight or nine. Oh, so you're like a cute little kid. Just <laughs> Dude, I was training every day, all day. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and it started, I think it was working because um, I remember nationals came and I got third and T and I beat TJ Barron. Ooh, take that dad. And <laughs> <laughs> I beat TJ Barron for the first time and uh, <laughs> Uh, Joey Baran was our coach. Dude, you know Joey? I know Joey. Yeah. I played Marco Polo in a pool with Joey once. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds sketchy. No, with a youth pastor? My dad was there. <laughs> it was all good. Joey Baran came to the house. Dude. And he was going to train He was gonna train us. And Joey Baran, didn't he win Pipeline Masters? Yeah, he was Pipe Master. Dude, Joey Baran. Now he dances a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so Joey Baran takes us to the beach and my I didn't really know if I could be a pro server. I just had the dream, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he trained me that year, and I got third at nationals. And, like, Dude. Joey told me, and my dad, he's like, he's like Sterling could be a pro. Heck yeah. And I was like, whoa. It, like, rocked your world. Gnarly. It's happening, Dad. And you're, like, <laughs> 10. You know what word I can't figure out? What? It literally shuts my brain down every time someone says it. The word condone. Do you know what the word condone means? I still don't. Well, I remember my dad saying, I don't condone this. But the word condone seems like bad. Like, I condone that. Do you know what I'm saying? good or bad? That's what I, it, okay. So I condone this. Meaning it's like <laughs> bad? Wait, so like <laughs> if I was like. Is it good or bad? I don't condone drinking. But it doesn't, that's, what does that mean? What does condone mean? Condone. What if we looked up the definition? The word condone sounds like it means I hate it. Right. I condone that. <laughs> but every time someone says it, they're like, I don't condone that. I'm like, wait. So I have to sit and think for a second. So like, they don't <laughs> want to love this? <laughs> Let's look it up real fast. Like you hear it in the news and I literally have to like pause the video and go, okay, wait. So they don't like it or they like it? Condone. <laughs> have you ever heard anyone say, I do condone this? I, I don't do think so. I do condone it's it. A, it is always in a negative light. Yeah, but okay. Condone means accept and allow. Behavior that is considered morally wrong or offensive to continue. The so I don't allow this. So the college cannot condone. It's, dude, I still can't. F Can anyone? Ex <laughs> so why don't we? Okay, accept. The college cannot accept. So condone means accept. Mm. 
I don't know. It's one of those words literally I'll never get. It's something people don't talk about enough. I know. I just feel like you never hear someone say it in a positive light. Like, I condone this. It just, yeah. Oh, I, I definitely condone this. <laughs> it's always like, I don't condone that. Like, our house is condoning. Like, accepting. Except- <laughs> but it's like, what? Dude. <laughs> I just can't get Let's that. Let's start it like, we condone you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. Why can't we retire when our bodies are still good? What do you mean? Like, it's like, oh, you work all your life, you're busy, and then it's time to retire, and your body's, like, shutting down. It's like, why can't we retire earlier? And Mm. I heard Ben Harper, (laughs) Ben Shapiro, was like, Ben Shapiro the other day was like, we need to work more. More? Let's push the retirement age farther past 65. Just because he has an advantage of being autistic doesn't mean... (laughs) He can tell us not to retire. (laughs) Like, we don't have that superpower. I know. It is a superpower. Dude, it? autistic people are like... Wait, all... is, is Ben Shapiro's autistic? I think he's uh, Asperger's. He's cl- he got, He's he, gotta be. He got nicked by it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just thought Dude, like... Asperger's is like... It's like a kind of X-Men. A, that's what Michael Jordan has. Kelly. They X-Men. all have it. Like they're mutants. Kern. Oh. It's like they don't have to care about anyone. Because they're... And they can just focus. Right. It's like they're born with like coffee beans in their brains. Dude, okay, we got to do a quick shout out. Remember, we were watching the Pipeline Girls the other day and someone put up the You Know the Rules sign. Oh, Remember yeah. those legends, dude? Set. So I want to shout out Paul, Hannah, and Preston. They made that happen. And Jordy signed it. Did you see that? Yeah. So now they That have was it. so funny. Like, I know. I was watching live and I was like, wait a second. Yeah, and it's for that beaver guy. <laughs> it's not for us. It's J- Cody Co did it. So shout out Paul, Hannah, and Preston. I like that name, Preston. Paul, Hannah. That's Paul- a very gender neutral name. No, Paul, Hannah, and Preston. Uh. Not Paul, <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a really weird question. Do you think that th- this might be dark and maybe we don't want to go here, but what do you think the moment dying feels like? Dude, I thought about asking this. Did you really? Yeah, are we going to die? No, don't say that. <laughs> No, like, do you think it's like, okay, someone gets blown up, so <gasps> something crazy. Is it like this, like, feeling of like, ah, like a cold shower or something? Like, does it feel <laughs> good? Like, it's, no one knows. Well, people that have died and come back, they oh. say it's pretty sick. Like, does it feel good? Apparently, it's awesome. Like, jumping into a, like, a pool of jello. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just like, ah, I can relax. And then they come back and they're like, dang it. Yeah, and it hurts. Like, <laughs> clear. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever worn a thong while surfing no but yes you have what? admit it <laughs> dude when chicks started wearing thongs so there was a moment where thongs became a thing it wasn't like always no really they'd always wore like full full bottom bathing suits like a one piece or something the ones that served uh, and then they started surfing thongs. Whoa. And I was like, they're letting them do this? It was pretty gnarly. Yeah. Like they would duck dive in front of you. And you're like, Ooh. like this is what a duck dive looks like. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> what if you had a G string on? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> That's a great joke. <laughs> You bend over to show what a duck dive is and <laughs> see a whale tail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you at home, you are me facing this way about yeah. to duck dive. And I'm like a chick in front of you oh, no. about to duck dive. So what you got to do to duck dive? Yeah. Is it you got to open Whoa. your leg to duck dive. <laughs> So they open their legs right in front of you. And oh, shoot. You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> so they open their, they like go like this <laughs> right in front of you. And then you're like, okay, I got to go under the way. They're like, Sink. right. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of sexual. Oh, you're getting full beaver shots. <laughs> wow. And like a thong, it goes in. I know. So it's like, whoa, I'm looking right at And it's, you're not even trying to. I'm not trying to be a perv right now. Right. So wasn't there a lot of like hate on photographers and stuff taken? You are strangling. You put the wire inside. (laughs) Wasn't there a thing where like, I remember reading something about (laughs) 
<laughs> just car trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no one talks about <laughs> scarf. I can't think. <laughs> no, but I remember reading something about how girls were being upset about like butt shots and photos and stuff. Really? Yeah. Like then why are they wearing thongs? That's what I'm saying. It's like it's not we're not trying to take a photo of the butt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying it was awesome. It was a good time. <laughs> Cuz all of a sudden it was like I mean, where else in the world are girls in thongs just like yeah, right in front of you spread and like only in strip clubs. <laughs> sounds so dirty. <laughs> yeah, strip clubs and surfing. It's like, yeah, like hmm. it's accepted stripping. Do you think that's why some guys get into surfing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think they came for the surfing, but they stayed for the <laughs> 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 they got bored with it, but they're like, I'll stick with it. So let's settle the debate, bro. What? Who's the goat? Sterling is a huge basketball freak. Savant. Savant. <laughs> My beef is, I don't know if Jordan's not good. You think Michael Jordan's not a good <laughs> basketball player? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. I'm not delusional. Okay. <laughs> I'm really trying to figure this out for the universe. Okay. Is Michael Jordan good at basketball? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Michael Jordan hired spies. Yeah. To down LeBron because he's so competitive. Oh, like marketers to like get him. Like I think Stephen A. Smith yeah. <laughs> works for Michael Jordan. Oh, he probably gets a percentage of the, the Jordan shoes. I th No, I think Michael pays him. Yeah. Because on LeBron's 40K night, yeah. he passed... You know, 40,000 points. points. Stephen A is on court bringing up Michael Jordan. He's at the game. He's at the game. LeBron's behind him bouncing the ball. <laughs> and he brings up that Michael Jordan is the best ever. And no one was asking him. He just brought There was up. no debate going on. It was just about this amazing night. Yeah. And I thought it was so weird. Like, it's rude. Why is he bringing up Michael Jordan? Like, and then he's like, I don't even want to debate that right now. And it's like, you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> There's not like media people just like, hey, we've never seen this before. Like, right. let's just be stoked about it. Yeah, it's a crazy moment. It's always, let's bring Michael Jordan up. <sighs> and I feel like he's paying these people. So Michael's paying Stephen A. Smith. And other people. And other people. <laughs> I feel like LeBron is caught on, and I feel like there's an uprising of like uh -huh. he's paying people <laughs> to expose Jordan because wow. there's all these viral videos of Jordan in his day, like missing layups and stuff. People are like, they weren't good back then. Yeah, Michael Jordan is like the Duke Kahonamoko of freaking surfing. Everyone is like as good as him now. Right. Like even from like the smallest guy. Really. Like, look at Steph Curry play. Like, Ugh. you could play Curry next to Jordan. Yeah. Dude, it's like night and day. Curry, she, like, shoots it anywhere. Like, yeah, swish. Jordan, like, like he was amazing, but it was it was just back in the day. He's, he was the first one to he ball. Was a, he's a godfather. Right. Dude, surfers now, if you're, like, looking at the tour now, everyone is better. Hmm. It's just the way it is. Hmm. Like, Everyone is as good as Kelly now when he was young. Right, the it's level. It's just the evolution. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, just yeah. the evolution. The bar has been raised. So when it comes to LeBron, he's just like nothing we've never seen before. And they try <laughs> to take it away from him. Yeah. I'm still not totally convinced he's the GOAT. Like, I think he needs to win one more. Right, LeBron needs to win one more ring. I think he needs to win more, <sighs> one more because like in his Mi Miami days, I thought they like underachieved yeah, Gnarly. Chris Bosh and I thought D Wade was a real letdown. Really? Well, not his talent, but yeah. he he aged fast. Yeah, he had to get out. <laughs> like he was so good with Shaq. Like if that Wade was with LeBron, they would have Yeah. They would have won like five. Dude. But D Wade, like, he he crumbled fast. Poor guy. And it's not his fault. Yeah, age. Like he was still super good, but like the two years they won. Wade was hobbling the whole time. 
But LeBron could have stayed in Miami rebuilt, and I think they would have won six. Like, easy. But he went back to Cleveland. He went in Cleveland and did the impossible. He did the impossible. He took Kyrie Irving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like LeBron's an underachiever. Hmm. Like, I thought Miami was a bus, even though they won two. Yeah, they won two. Like, LeBron's career is so gnarly, and, like, if he would have just had a Scottie Pippen. <sighs> I feel like Jordan was so lucky. He had like the best coach ever. Yeah. Phil Jackson has like 16 rings. Yeah. He won all those with Kobe and Shaq. Yeah. Won all of them with Michael. Dude, LeBron never had like a uh, real coach. A Pippin and a coach. Yeah, he never had a, his freaking Pippin. And Pippin was like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Would people argue that he had Chris Bosh, D-Wade, uh, Kyrie Irving? I think you need more talent to win these days because everyone's so much scarier. Like, the year when they beat the Golden State Warriors, Ugh. that team was so gnarly. Stacked. Everyone shot threes like Dude. insane. It was the most incredible team, and they won like 73 games. Yeah, they had the, the best the season best ever, ever, and then they lost in game six, game seven. Game seven. So LeBron obviously has the most points ever scored. He's broken tons of records, but the argument is, is that he doesn't have as many wings. <laughs> That's that's the only argument. And people make fun of him. There's memes out there of like you had to go to other teams to win. Like you know, like Magic stayed with the with the Lakers. LeBron stayed. But if, or, if Jordan would have went to the Wizards and won, yes. they, they would be like, yeah. See, he could do it anywhere. <laughs> yeah. But now it switches. Yeah. I feel like Jordan pays people. He does. I really do. Well, then let's get paid and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get paid. Next podcast, we're like, no, actually, you know, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like winning with three different teams is yeah. is gnarlier. Yeah, you're having to rebuild every time. You, re you know how hard it is to rebuild? <laughs> no, but I can I imagine. Me either. I can imagine. But it looks hard. It looks terrible. In the comments, let us know. I know, dude, there's some NBA heads that get into the comments and they just go ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Show this clip of Michael Jordan real quick. All right. Yeah, he's missing stuff. <laughs> and then like they say he can't go left. Well, this clip is obviously like his yeah, worst I stuff. Know. We could show like LeBron stuff. L watch this clip of LeBron. Look how fast he is. Look. <laughs> Look at him go. Dude, he's like a gazelle. Dude, he's so much faster than Michael Jordan. He's like a cheetah mixed with a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Like the amount of like, look at that. Look at his body. It's like, <laughs> like Jordan is like half his size. You're right. Like, just physically. Well, do you think in the future we'll we can clone both these guys and get them in their prime and let's <laughs> can watch? Can we make them? Can we make these guys? <laughs> yeah, dude. Because then you hear the whole other debate is like, back then in the '90s, it was real rough under the basket, and you could throw, you could arm check, you could you could elbow now. Dude, all those guys weren't even. They were they like had, accountants. They had to have other jobs to play. Yeah, they were drinking Miller Lite and going out onto the court. No wonder they were hitting people. Why, go, seriously, y'all, go watch the games back then. They just stand around. <laughs> They're not athletic. They don't have muscles. Yeah, yet. they're tired. They've been working all day. <laughs> they, none of them have muscles. Yeah. And then you watch it now, and they're all just like jacked. Yeah. Like, everyone's bigger, stronger. Faster, quicker. I just, he, LeBron is just like, Overall, he's a better player, but if if we're ta if like we're talking like goat goat, I think he needs one more, one more. Real quickly, let's go back to the other reason why people debate it. If it's all about rings, wouldn't it be freaking Bill Russell? Bill Russell, he has eleven. He has eleven, so and yeah. he was the coach of the teams. <laughs> he's like, all right, everybody, <laughs> pass to me. That's what I don't understand with the Jordan debate. Because they they always bring up the rings against LeBron. But Bill has 11. But Bill has 11. And they're like, well, no, it was easier back then. And w well, it's like, yeah, it was easier for Jordan too. Right. And that's where we bring up Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly got 11. Just like Bill Russell. I'm Dude, I'm worried for Kelly. I know. We've talked about this. Like, cause in I think in like 30 to 50 years, yeah. all the contests will be in wave pools and kids are doing like crazy yeah. flips every wave and yeah. they'll watch old footage of Kelly and they'll be like, they surfed in the ocean? <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, Trevor did a, a 360 like, last week. They're not even doing inverted threes. Exactly. This is nothing. They're so, like, who did Kelly win? He beat Danny Wills. They're like, who? <laughs> <laughs> like this is like core surf knowledge <laughs> like all the people like kelly b it's like some random hillbillies and they're like and it's the same thing with bill russell yeah he built yeah 
You beat some no names. Yeah, it's the same thing. Gosh. Well, in the comments, let's get feisty. What do y'all think? <laughs> Dude, what is the story on this croc right here? What the heck? This is the golden croc. This is in Italy? This started everything. So in 2010, yeah. we went to Puerto Rico. We were on the quest to make the first internet surf movie sick ever i quit the tour to do this movie so we were going down with andy irons dude and that's when he passed away right so andy passed away and we were just like tripping out so i had these crocs yeah me me and andy were gonna surf in crocs oh and in puerto rico everyone wore crocs like before it came to us in the states when i got to puerto rico i was like what are those shoes and they're like these is crocs these are the crocs sterling <laughs> <laughs> and i thought they were so funny and you could get them in the gas station and they look yeah. hilarious i'm like dude let's get like andy to wear crocs and surf with them and yeah just to be silly <sighs> so after the contest um taj burrow was still there yeah and so we ended up filming with taj um for the movie Surf Madness. Yeah. And I was like, Taj, dude, we have to do something no one's ever done before. He's like, what? I was like, we have to surf in Crocs. He's like, no, I will not do it. Is he American? He's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> so Taj is like, no, nah, my. <laughs> Taj is like, there's no way I'll surf in Crocs. I was like, dude, Andy was going to do it. <gasps> and he was like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he strapped on. So we put those on and went and surfed this like fun right-hander. Dude. And that's, we came back from that trip with this footage yeah. of Taj and Crocs. Bill Bong was like, all right, we'll do it. No way. So mm -hmm. this Croc started Surf Madness, the movie. Yeah, Surf Madness was gnarly because like it wasn't, like pro servers just didn't go and make movies. Like silly movies or just at all? <sighs> the internet was just coming on. Right. So it was all about DVDs. and Yeah, and it probably took a long time to I'm get them. like, dude. Let's give a freaking movie away. Yeah. And they're me. like, what? No, it's impossible. They're like crunching numbers. Like, <laughs> you can't do it. It can't be done. And I was like, dude, I'm telling you, all movies are going to be like on YouTube free. Like, right, right. Like, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? And I was like, I'm quitting. I'm quitting the tour. You quit the to tour. To do this. So they were all, everybody was looking like, he's crazy. He's losing it. They're like, this guy's idiot <laughs> and i have like crocs on and yeah <laughs> did you have a scarf on so i <laughs> what are some other beside behind the scenes things about surf madness surf madness the energy behind it was like this we're the count the counter culture of surf tour right so it's like everything fun right make it silly make it goofy so we were following the tour and making fun of guys like we oh, wow. filmed Jordy like making his girlfriend carry boards <laughs> up the <laughs> luggage. We almost became like the like this mini TMZ. Yeah. Like uh, <laughs> TMZ. Like we were like we went to San Francisco. We went to Lowers. We went to like uh, in Hawaii, and we were following the tour, making fun of it. Yeah. To people who were like either hate Sterling or love Sterling. Right, because they couldn't understand it, maybe. Well, they thought I was mocking, right. which I was. But not, <laughs> but in a fun, lovey, it came from a good place. It was more like, let's make this funner. Yeah, come on, guys. Like, let's let's take this up a notch because it's a little boring. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, is there that one shot of, um, who's the guy going, floater? Floater, floater, floater. Floater. Oh, my God. So, like, Adriano, so that year, he won this contest and instead of doing airs, he was just doing like floaters every way. <laughs> and, and floaters are just when you go on top of them. It's like the, the easiest maneuver but in surfing. But it looks cool. It looks cool. It's, but you shouldn't it's like win. like a garnish right. on the dish. Right. So he won the contest doing floaters and everyone commenting, they're like, he's doing floaters. Like yeah. stop scoring these floaters high. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So then we were like chilling in Costa Rica. My freaking friend Graham Wade, he, he, He's like, dude, Adriano's like training out front and he runs and grabs his camera and films. Yeah, it's like the crappiest camera too. <laughs> <laughs> He's filming Adriano doing all this. Stretchies. So I like uh, voiced over, I was like, floater, float, like yeah. training for floaters. <laughs> and everyone in the surf world knew. Oh my gosh, like when that came out, dude, people were like, oh my God. I never knew that. I thought you were just making up words. So when that happened, dude, everyone, 
all pro servers became like, dude, is Sterling like <laughs> filming us right now? <laughs> yeah, dude. Because I remember being on a trip with you and I, and I, <laughs> I would film people and you could tell they were like, uh, we're, 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 Sterling's filmers <laughs> Sterling, filming <yeah>. me. <laughs> I like, uh, I tried to do this trip with Dane Reynolds mm-hmm. to Mexico. Yeah. And he was texting Morgan. He's like, there's no way I would do a trip with Sterling. Why? He's like, he's going to film me when I'm sleeping. But you're not like, it's all done in a fun way. It's not like completely dumb. Dane was always, he was a paranoid person. Yeah, he was just paranoid. Not everyone's ready to laugh at themselves. Right. I get that. And that was like the goal of the film. Let's all make fun of ourselves. Right. And there's tons of good surfing. Where did you travel? Um, we went to Nicaragua, Puerto Rico, Hawaii. Um, dang. What was scary about Surf Madness is Jeremy Flores. Right. Which we've talked about this. I know, but it's so pivotal to the movie. I know. Like the Jeremy Flores clip rocket launched the internet career. Right. I remember Andy Irons to Bill Bong. He's like, he's like, give this guy a movie. Like, <laughs> he made fun of Jeremy. <laughs> he's like, this is the best thing surfing has ever seen. I remember I saw Mick Fanning once, and he gave me the double handshake. He used two hands. Yeah, two hands in my hand. He's like, thank you for that. Wow. Like that was the funniest. So he was real thing appreciative. Ever. <laughs> Well, that's cool, dude. I remember that film, or when it came out, that was a big deal. And it was weird because it was like, no DVD? Yeah. And I remember you looking into maybe possibly doing a DVD because people were starting to like talk to you about it, and you were like, no, it's not the new world. I remember, because we filmed it for two years, and I was like, free movie, free movie. And I remember a couple guys came out, like Dane put one out. Yeah. Chippa Wilson, I think, put one out. So that was like the beginning of the movement. Yeah, and it's coming from a world where literally the only way you saw it was on a DVD. Yeah, they made like 5,000 DVDs. And people forget how like, that's it, DVD. This is like Blockbuster, dude. And then our our first day, I think we hit like a million views. Dude. So we were just like, dude, what is this world? So do we want to real quickly just say, so now check out, it's on the channel. Go to, go to the channel. Yeah. It's free again. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the channel. Surf Madness. Check it out. It's an, it's what? Now it's freaking 15 years old Came almost. Out 2011. It's the beginning of the internet surfing. Check it out. Show it some love. Comments, likes. Check it out. Oh, what a freaking episode. Episode 36, guys. Subscribe, like, comment. Right. What? I'm talking to you through my mind. I know. I've gotten used to it. <sighs> Why didn't you wear the thong this episode? I didn't want to. A tampon? Shut up. No, I'm not. It's sus. <laughs> Ryan, tell, ev- tell everyone to subscribe. Guys, please subscribe, comment, and like. It really helps. If you're not subscribed by this point, we don't even want you here. All right. Just kidding. I'm going to show my six pack. All right, Let's dude. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Uh oh. You're done with it? Dude, let me try it. Let me try it. Ooh, it smells great. Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. (laughs) 